Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set a quota on the home folder for domain users. As you know, home folders are personal storage spaces allocated to Active Directory users, and their size can quickly grow if left unchecked. Therefore, it's important to implement disk quotas to effectively manage server storage space, prevent misuse, and ensure fair usage for all users. In the previous video, I explained how to create and configure a home folder for Active Directory users. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend you watch it first. I'll leave the link in the description below. Now let's start applying a disk quota to the home folder. However, you must have the file server resource manager feature installed so that we can control the quotas set on shared folders in general, not just the home folder. And to install the file server resource manager feature from the server manager dashboard window, click add roles and features. Click the next button to begin and then make sure you are on the role-based or feature-based installation option and click next. Select the server on which the feature will be installed, if you have more than one server, and then click Next button. In this step, expand File and Storage Services, and under it, expand File and iSCSI Services. Then select File Server Resource Manager. A dialog box will appear. Click Add Feature, then click the Next button to continue with the rest of the feature installation process. Then click Next, then click the Install button and wait for the feature installation to complete successfully. The installation process may take a minute or two at most. After completion, click the close button. It's best to restart the server so the feature can run without any problems. Next, from the server manager window, click the tools menu at the top of the page and from the menu, click file server resource manager. Then from the left panel, Click to expand quota management, then right-click quotas and select Create Quota. In the Quota Path field, click Browse and specify the path to the home folder. You can, of course, specify the path to any shared folder, but I specified the home folder. Then select the Auto Apply template and create quotas on existing and new subfolders option. This will automatically apply the quota to each user's folder within the home folders. Finally, select the space or quota you want for the home folder. Click the drop-down menu and select the quota you want. If you want to specify a specific quota that isn't in this list, you can create a new quota template with the space you want. For example, I want to specify three gigabytes, which isn't listed in the available options. Cancel this step and we'll return to it again after creating a new quota template. From the left panel in File and Storage Services, right-click Quota Templates and select Create Quota Template. Enter a name for the template. Make sure the name is appropriate and descriptive of the template. For example, 3 GB and specify the space. Under Space Limit, enter the space you want. Then select the Hard Quota option. This option prevents users from saving data exceeding the maximum limit. Then click the OK button. Then the quota template will be created immediately. Now we can return to quotas, right click on it and select Create Quota. Click Browse, select the folder for which you want to create a quota and then select the Auto Apply Template and Create Quotas on Existing and New Subfolders option. This will automatically apply the quota to each user's folder within the home folders. To specify the quota, click the drop-down menu under Quota Properties. You will find the 3 GB added to the list. Select it and click the Create button. This creates a specific quota for the home folder. We will verify this on one of the client's computers to which the quota is applied. Log in to a client computer with one of the accounts that have the home folder applied to them. Open this PC, then right-click the network drive map to the home folder and select Properties. From here, you can check the available space. You'll see that the specified capacity for this folder is actually 3 gigabytes. 
as we specified it from the server via file and storage services. That's all for today's video. We were able to set up disk quotas for AD user home folders using the File Server Resource Manager in Windows Server 2025. This is a great way to ensure efficient storage space use and that no single user fills up your file server. If you found this video useful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss future server management videos. Also, check out the description of the previous video link on how to create a home folder. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.